In the last lesson, we ended up viewing our application in the browser. So if you visit port 8000 of localhost, then you can see your application running right there. And remember to keep your terminal open when you run PHP at send serve. Next, let's talk about how this page is actually being displayed. Open up your application in a code editor, then visit the resources views folder and you're going to see a file called welcome.blade.php. This is basically a PHP file and we have HTML in it. This file is called a view file. Remember, Lavo is a model view controller framework. The view is the part of the framework that takes care of what the user sees in the browser, the view part of the application. So all of our views are going to be stored in the views folder in the resources folder. We are also going to talk about the models and the controllers, but in this case, the views are in this folder. So this is the welcome.blade.php and it's the first page that the user sees right here. So let's just go ahead and change this to to do's app and see what we get. If I refresh this page right now, you can see we have to do's app, which means the page we see right here is actually coming from this file. Okay. So let's just go ahead and delete these links to see if it's going to take effect. Visit the browser, refresh the page, and you can see we have just the text right here. Okay. So this is a view file, but how does Lavo know that when the user visits this page, the user should be displayed this view. This is where the routes come in. So open up your routes folder. So there's a routes folder and you want to open up the web.php file right here. This web.php file, look at what it does. It has a class called route and it calls a static function called get. And into this static function, it passes in a path, which is slash right here. And you can see the home page. So that the first index page of the website and the next argument is a function. And this function, what does it do? It simply returns a view called welcome. And it's simply saying, when the user visits the home page of the application or the index page, this path right here, then this function should be called. And what does this function do? It returns a view called welcome. And what Lavo does is it goes to the resources views folder and tries to find a file called welcome.blade.php. And once it finds that file, it returns this HTML to the user and that's it. So our routes is the key because our routes tells Lavo what particular page to render when a user visits a particular route. So let's take another example. If we say route, we're going to say get, which means this is for a get request. And remember when the user visits the page, the user is getting that page. So we are going to say about, and we're going to, we are saying when the user visits the about page, then this function should be called. And what does this function do? Return a view called about. Okay. Which means we've registered a route for the about page. Now let's visit slash about in the browser. So about, and now we have an error that says the view about was not found. So to fix this, we need to create the view. So we're going to go to the views folder and we are going to create a file called about.blade.php. And in here, remember, this is just an HTML file, so you can write HTML in it. So I'm just going to generate some HTML and here I'm going to say about page and I'm going to have an H1 that says the about page. Now that we've created our about.blade.php file, we'll go back to our browser and refresh this page and you can see we have the about page right there. As simple as that you've learned how to actually create pages in your application. The web.php file is the file where all of the routes are registered. And to register a route, you just need to use the route class static method. Depending on what the kind of request is, it can be a get, post, put, patch, delete. We're going to talk about all of that. In this case, a get, then the name of the path, which means if the user is visiting about, the path here is going to be about. If the user is visiting contact, the path here is going to be contact. Then we pass a function that is simply going to determine what happens when the user visits this route. In this case, we are simply returning a view called about. 
In the next lesson, we are going to talk more about this because maybe we don't only want to return a view. In the next lesson, we are going to continue talking about this awesome framework.